And good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is Joyce All Knowing Tarot. How are you? Hey guys, hey, 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 my loves. I love you guys so much. I am, let me figure out the camera here. It is Saturday morning and uh, just doing Saturday cleanup day. You know, Saturday is Saturday cleanup day. You put on those uh, R&B soul hits and you get to cleaning. So I said, let me stop and uh, say hi to my friends. I, during this time of year, I, uh, I slow down with filming and things like that simply because it is the holidays and I've got family coming over for Thanksgiving. I've got family for Christmas. Actually, we've already, <clears throat> excuse me, we've already done our, um, our pick a name, which we like to do that. Hey, let me just tell you about a program, and it's called, um, uh, golly, it's about being a, an elf, uh, uh, an adoptee elf, and that's what it is. And what happens is, is that your post office will put up letters for ch of children that have written for what they want for Christmas, and uh, you just go to uh, look it up. You can Google. That is your friend. Google is your friend. Um, uh, Elf Helper. And by November 29th, they uh, post letters online from children who want gifts for Christmas that their family can't afford. And so myself and Camille, you know my Camille, we are a part of that this year. This is the first year of being a part of it. And then what you do is you read the letters, you decide what letter resonates with you or what you, is in your price range, and you adopt that person. And then you go out, you get their gifts, and you can either wrap them up or not, but you box them up anyways. And then you take them to your local post office. They'll give you a scan slip where um, they'll have your information forward in case it needs to be returned because a lot of families are are living in po impoverished situations and they move uh but some uh, but the other portion is to the sender i mean that you get a scan slip for them and that allows you to send them a gift but not know who they are you know their address and those things that are very confidential it is a wonderful program it's a program that we americans who love each other at the end of the day. We have to have love for one another at the end of the day that is helping a child uh, get a gift that they've always wanted or because of their uh, financial situations of their household. So we've joined that. I hope that you look into that. Um, it is a, a Dr. Elf, a Dopty Elf, a Dr. Elf. It's one of those two, but it's a Dr. Elf, I believe. And uh, Google that. It's free for you other than getting a gift for someone. Um, it's so meaningful. Uh, I actually watched a program about it. I literally cried like a baby when I watched it because I can relate to where we didn't have everything or uh, we only got a limited amount because we had a lot of kids growing up. And when you go back to school, you remember when you go back to school after Christmas and then everybody has this laundry list of everything in the world they got and you didn't or you make up something you got that you didn't really get. So please, 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 I'm begging you with all my heart to look into it. Um, and even if you're on a limited budget, they're not asking for the world. OK, and you can decide what letter resonates with you and um, be a part of the program. They need people to be a part of it. It's actually been around since 1912. And so the post office still has it going. And that, that is my just USPS, uh, uh, I don't know, conversation with you. It's just so important to me. It touched my heart in every way because spirit always tells me the same thing is that it's about doing and giving. And since we're in this Aquarian age, when you give out, Man, are you blessed with health and love and whatever is abundance to you. And it's just the mere fact that as an adult, we tend to get more pleasure out of giving than even receiving. We all want a little something under the tree, let's be honest, but it's the giving that matters. Anyways, I spent four minutes on that, but I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday. So check it out. I told you I looked at Britney Spears' birthday and I knew 
that the conservatorship was over and it is over. And I send her love and light that she's able to manage her life from this point forward. So that prediction came true. I also told you that Steve Bannon was going to jail, period. And so he is. Uh, we found out that he's got indictments and he's going he is going to jail. Um, they said it could be up to a year or two. I'm not exactly sure on that. You guys will know that better than I do. But anyways, that's what's happening. So I want to look at a couple of things, though. The first thing I want to look at is Mark Meadows. And I'm using the light seers today. I haven't used those in a minute um, to see what's around him because he possibly could be indicted as well. Um, he needs to show up to Congress. He needs to testify. And he doesn't even work for Trump anymore. Trump is not giving two hoots about him or anybody else. Uh, Trump is a, a true narcissist. If you don't know what that is, or look that up. Look up signs and symptoms. He's about himself. He's about, uh, a lot of narcissists are, and maybe you are. Um, the first thing they do is turn everything around and make themselves the victim. And then they find ways to bully you or threaten you or harass you to get you to do what it is they want to do. They're extremely manipulative. And so I want to see if Mark Meadows, <clears throat> excuse me, what's going to happen around Mark Meadows? All right, let's look at Mark Meadows. What's around him? I think I looked at him once before and I didn't see him really catching a lot. No, Mark Meadows is going to walk away from all the mess. Uh, he will not be held accountable. He will not be indicted on anything. Um, he will speak on the situation. He will take action. I got an ace of wands for him. I've got the eight of cups for him. I know my light's always bright, so if you don't see it, you don't see it. But he's got the um, eight of cups says he's going to walk away from the mess Asa Wan says that he's going to clear up a lot of stuff. He's going to talk to whoever he needs to talk to on the back end and start something new. He wants to start something new or he may have, but the money is going to come slow into him. Um, he already knows there is the queen of cups says that he's all, he's got this sort of intuition, this sort of feminine energy about him that knows that I'm not going to get away from way with this. He is kind of torn, actually. We've got two of Pentacles. He's kind of torn on, on these earthly matters of should I talk, should I not, what I do, to do, to do. But he is going to. He's not going to hide from it. He really is not. He is very elated that this whole Trump mess is over. He is. He's very happy the mess is over for him. And if need be, uh, he'll talk on anything that they need him to talk about. Um, he will not see the same outcome as Steve Bannon. So good for him, I guess. I don't know. I'm just pulling up a couple more cards on him. So when you see me looking down, I'm shuffling. And I know I have an actual better camera, but when something comes on my heart, I just have to go with it. He's going to be okay. Queen of Wands says that he's going to be okay. He's going to be, if he's looking for something else, some new opportunity, it will present itself as a, if it hasn't already. He's going to be attractive to people working, wanting to work with him. I think it's his ability to be whole confidentiality and yet uh, stay kind of... Um, loyal to that company but he lurk walks this fine line i'm loyal to this company but i'm also about me and about what i want and what i want to do and uh yeah he's going to unload all of his burdens on anything that happened around that uh january 6 and then he's moving on don't want to deal with it anymore the other person i want to look at is kyle rittenhouse Oh, chow. I am so upset about this mess. I've been watching snippets, but, you know, I just cannot. I cannot. Uh, Kyle is a liar. 
And I'm saying it here on camera, no alleged, no nothing. He's a liar. He put on a performance with that whole, I'm crying, squeezing his eyes, could not get a damn tear out of any eye, period. The judge, I'm going to look at him too. The judge seems to be as if he's paid off because they can't say that the gentlemen that were uh, shot were victims um, they tried to say that one of the gentlemen was a pedophile. Okay, please accept this as it, as I'm giving it to you. Even if this dude is a pedo, and that is alleged, that is alleged, it's alleged by them, it's not been proven, but even if he is, what does that have to do with getting murdered? He should be able to go out and protest, but he spoke up for BLM, Black Lives Matter, and now he is worthless. Um and then I saw a picture of Kyle's mother. She was in full fatigue. She had guns strapped across her. I thought, I thought that she would like was in a jeans and sweater. And he said he had to go uh, protect the store. And she drove him up. No, she came up in full fatigues, ready to do battle. That's how she brought him back up from Illinois to Wisconsin. So he's a liar. Now he can't see anything. He doesn't remember anything. He thought he was in harm. No, you did not. You came to do battle. And please, let's, let's, let's don't even forget the shooting. Think about your mother, who is an accomplice now to murder, but they're not holding her to that, brought you across. You're 17. You're not supposed to have that type of arsenal, not any at all, period. And you came up to Wisconsin with an attitude, with your prejudices and a chip on your shoulder. And you weren't even asked to be there. The store people said they did not ask him to be there. He was not supposed to be guarding anything. So even that alone has you dead wrong. But let me see what's around him. And I want to see what's around the judge. Please bear with me a minute, a minute because I'm so upset with this. I don't even know what to do. But Wisconsin, and I'm a, a born in Wisconsin, have always been a, a racist place. Milwaukee and the capital, Madison, has always been Democratic, a Democratic portion. But the rest of the country, no. And I have family that live there. And I'm going to tell you something. Not only are there Republicans, they are deeply entrenched in the Trumpism. And it saddens me. I do not deal with them at this point. I, I don't deal with them. I'm not having those conversations. Uh, first of all, he's scared. we got five of pentacles. He's scared. He knows what. It's almost as if he's sitting out here. That's him. And then this is prison right there. Like he knows what could happen to him. He is anxious. He is uh, young. He's a kid, okay? And even with that being the case, he still went and did what he did. And he knows what the outcome can be for him. Um, they're trying to tell him to, this is temperance, calm down, you know, be positive. We got this. How do you tell a kid to be positive? Um, and then he's got the tower card. He's got the tower card. We're going to be in, or he's going to be in for quite the surprise. Someone has made him believe, and probably his defense or his mother, who was also in Fox News, I think with Tucker Carlson, spewing the mess, um, that he's going to be okay. He's not going to do time. Yeah, he is. They're going to get him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to get him. So the jury's going to really be pondering it. He's going to get a pretty fast decision. And then it's going to be the end of him. Um, let me look at the judge, though. I want to know, is the has the judge been paid off? Um, I guess you can look on YouTube. I have Court TV on, you know, you have, you have those streaming. So I have a Roku TV. And the judge has been especially biased. He doesn't even want politics in. Well, this was all about politics. If it hadn't have been for Trump spewing all this venom, uh, this wouldn't have happened. Okay. This would not have happened. So to leave that out tells you everything you need to know about the judge. Um, even when Kyle was crying, the judge was there like almost as like a cloak for him, cloaking for him, 
defending him, protecting him. But yet we have people like Tamir Rice, who was a whole child in a park playing with a toy gun that got murdered by police. So if you hear my dogs in the background, someone's home. So is the judge. Okay, guys, sorry, I'm back. I had to go get the dogs calmed down. By the way, Zoe was supposed to be here on Friday. Then she emailed me the night before, and she has been really sick uh, for the last few days or so. So we'll plan something with her later down the line. Right now, I am really just taking it easy, like I said, and I'm doing the holidays. I'm looking at the judge to a cups. The judge is in bed with somebody. This judge is in bed with somebody. This is the why. This is why he keeps chastising the prosecution. The prosecution, like what? Aren't y'all all under the law? But he keeps chastising the prosecution. Limits what the prosecution can say. Won't let him ask certain questions. He's in bed with somebody. However, this judge doesn't even know he's got the tower card coming for him. That he's going to have to break down all that BS that he's doing. This is coming for him. He will be in, they were going to appeal this if it doesn't go their way. We got the Wheel of Fortune that says that they're going to uh, appeal this, okay? The wheels are going to change in a better direction. This, uh, this judge, mm -mm. this judge is protecting this kid. There he is. There's Kyle on the run. This judge is protecting this kid all the way, uh, there's money involved in it as well. So he can't be his true self. Uh, how is this tower going to hit him? What will be the outcome of this judge? This judge should have retired, if you take a look at him, a long time ago. Should have retired a long time ago. I wish this was a federal case. Um, but like I said, if it doesn't go right, they're going to appeal it anyways. And when they appeal it, uh, it would turn in their favor. Um, the judge is making a lot of mistakes and that's would give them cause to appeal. What's the outcome with this judge? Let's see. This judge is going to end finding himself completely on the defense completely trying to protect himself and why he ruled this way or why he why he ruled that way he's going to be on a total defense of everything um yeah yeah it's going to be very sad for this judge i'm telling you right now the judge is going to get chastised he's going to have to shut it up he is this judge will have to shut it up and he'll have to, uh, he will be checked and chastised. Someone will be watching this. Someone is watching every aspect of this case. That's the Queen of Swords, who is about analyzing and looking at the numbers and looking at the reactions and very observant, super intelligent that is watching everything that's going on. And then the judge ends up with the Five of Cups with a lot of regret all for money, all to be in bed with people. The judge will go away. This is six of swords. I just wanted to know what was going to happen with the judge. Uh, the judge will end up having to go away. This will be his last job right here. Uh, yeah. And with that queen of swords says there are going to be legal repercussions for the way he's doing this. The prosecution will appeal this case and then they will be successful when they will will they win their appeal we have the king of wands the king of wands does not back down he is utterly strong this would be prosecution and yeah that prosecution is going to be successful in what he is doing it will be successful so what i'm seeing is that uh, there's going to, there's a lot of errors going on. The judge is in bed with somebody and he's getting paid. He's in a close partnership with somebody on the back end, whether it's a, the voters who voted for him or anything else. 
case is going to go bad. It's going to look like it's going to go in Kyle's favor. And uh, and it may initially, they're going to appeal that case. The judge is going to be found so wrong in that case. He's going to be removed from the bench, if not removing himself before he faces his own sanctions. And they'll be able to get Kyle where he needs to be, which is in the in jail. Kyle murdered people, regardless of what their, the other person's background record was or anything else, because whatever they could have done, they weren't doing it that day. So anyways, anyways, guys, um, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful Saturday. I'm going to make some, uh, I think I'm doing sandwiches today. That'd be nice and easy. I try to take it easy before Thanksgiving, but I uh, love you guys. Have a great day. Bye now.